Point Pleasant, uncovering the legend behind the Mothman. Mothman has become West Virginia's favorite cryptid. The creature is recognizable to most of us between the black wings and the beady red Look, I see something red up there. We are now standing in front of what locals call the igloo. That's where Mothman was first sighted. Oh, this one's scary. I swear. Look at this. And while no one knows the origin story behind Mothman, many have speculated that he mutated in TNT chemicals at West Virginia Ordnance Works. He and another guy that he worked with were out there working on a vehicle and saw this big thing in the tree. Mothman was famously seen near or on the Silver Bridge right before the collapse in 1967. After that moment, people were split on whether Mothman was good or evil. What is up, fam? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Got Tiffany here with me, and we are in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Now, what's crazy is Tiffany and I came here about a year ago to do a story on the Mothman, and when I went back to look at my footage, I had several clips missing. Hunters in Mason County may need to be on the lookout for something other than deer when they hit the woods this week. Up until Sunday night, he hadn't been spotted recently, but according to these pictures, the legendary Point Pleasant Mothman is back. Now, when we came here, it was right in the middle of the pandemic. The streets were dead. There wasn't anybody out here, and it kind of looks the same. But here's the thing. It's really late right now. But anyways, I'm going to share some of the stories. By the way, the only store and Mothman Museum is right there next to me and probably the only place in the world that you're going to see a statue like this. Okay, just a second ago, Tiffany was freaking out. She was like, who is that? And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is like a mannequin watching the statue. Maybe he is watching the statue. Now we did go over there last year too, and we'll we'll give you guys a, a look. But check this guy out over here. Tiffany and I did manage to snag a couple selfies with the Mothman. So in 1966, two couples went to this area, and I'm gonna take you there in a second. This area was used in World War II to house explosives, and now it's like a wildlife sanctuary area or like a protected part of West Virginia. I hear there's owls and all kinds of birds there. While they were there, they saw this creature, and I mean, right away they, they thought it was, it was something else, and they realized they weren't alone, and this creature was stalking them. All four people saw this, and they reported it to police. This is what started with the whole Mothman thing. And after that, there's been several other cases. A case that I heard about of a woman claiming that her baby was being stolen and she had to fight off this creature. Everyone's description of this creature has one thing in common. Well, several things in common, but the main thing is the red beady eyes. One woman saying that it was a shade of red that she has never seen before. It was like a, a very deep, deep red. And of course, there's people mentioning this 10 to 15 foot wingspan. Now, I've done a lot of research on Point Pleasant and the Mothman, and some people do say that it could have been the angel of death that was visiting before one tragic event. But after that tragic event, he has been seen more, and people have even seen him in other places like Chicago, which isn't too far away. Some accounts being like very recent, like a 2017. I think there was like 20 or 30 different reports of a Mothman-like creature that looked very similar to the red-eyed creature that has been seen here. Now we're gonna take you to a certain location that this is where I was really upset when we came here the last time we were missing footage from this and it made me really upset. So we're gonna go there right now and I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that story because some people say that the reason why the Mothman showed up was to warn people about this event. Let's go. So where we're going is right up the street, but I do want to show you this. This is a museum and a place where you can buy some stuff from the Mothman. And you know, there's different depictions of what the Mothman may look like. This is one that I believe is more true, you know, with the red eyes and the big wings. We should go there tomorrow. 
Yeah, let's do it. Apparently this town like embraces it so much. They have like pizza that you can buy that's like designed like the Mothman. They have cookies and like the, there's coffee that's Mothman expired. Like the whole town. I think just... it's across the street. There's a coffee place right there. It's like a Mothman coffee place. That's pretty cool. You know, that's one thing that I kind of regretted last time when we were here. We pretty much just walked around at night. And it was like this. <laughs> it was just like this. And we didn't really get to, like, go in this store here and kind of totally see this place in action, you know? They got all kinds of cool stuff in there. I mean, this is why you come to Point Pleasant to search for the Mothman. Look at this. That is pretty creepy. But yeah, they have all sorts of stuff in there. Probably a lot of information that we don't even know about. Yeah, one of my clients came here. She loved it here. God rest her soul now. But she used to tell us all the time, like, you need to go to West Virginia and go to Point Pleasant and go to the Mothman place. Apparently, everybody here loves talking about it, loves telling their stories, and, like, they love it. So we should come back tomorrow during the day and see what absolutely they can tell it's definitely gonna look much different than it looks now well i'm actually glad i'm glad we're the only ones out here would you hire this person <laughs> look what so there's a mirror <laughs> and they want you to look at yourself and ask like would you hire this i person? would absolutely hire this person you know why because i'm looking at a trustworthy big-hearted individual oh, i want you to stay in here and i would hire this person 100 <laughs> percent because i see well i saw a huge hearted beautiful caring stubborn <laughs> just a bundle of love <laughs> <laughs> hey they got a like an antique store here oh i love these stores. did not know that Check yeah, this like out. is that why they they say me old china <laughs> so my friend glenn from the uk says what's up me old china this is so cool you know that there's some haunted stuff in there hey what was the name of that <laughs> that um thrift store oh it was called um dead people's things <laughs> and we wanted to go there so bad and because of covid it's like not open yeah totally would visit a thrift store called that dead people's things somebody with a really big sense of humor oh my gosh i want to go in there tomorrow you should totally oh look at this what's the scoop they even embraced the Mothman here at this ice cream store. So this location happens to be right in front of a police station too. I'm gonna read to you this and then I'm gonna share some of the information with you. Okay, so there was a bridge that collapsed right over there. And I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, it says construction in 1928 connected Point Pleasant and Kanaga, Kanaga, Ohio. By the way, Ohio is just on the other side of the Ohio River. Name credited to aluminum colored paint used. First eye bar suspension bridge of its type in the US. Rush hour collapse on the 15th of December, 1967. Resulted in 31 vehicles falling into river, killing 46 and injuring nine. Failed eye bar joint and weld identified as cause resulted in congressional passage of national bridge okay so the collapse that happened here resulted in a lot of things changing for bridge standards and the way they inspect and build bridges and that was in 1968 but this happened the year following the first sighting of the mothman this is why it was very important for me to share this history with you because it is connected to the mothman in some stories being that he was showing up to warn people because most of the sightings of the Mothman were coming before this collapse. Is the Mothman the angel of death or the death angel? I don't know, but we're gonna get a little bit closer right now. Hopefully the cops don't get mad at us because the police station's right there. This is where the actual bridge, the silver bridge was. So cars would come through here and now there's, it's, it was replaced by, I think there's two other bridges, right? Uh, or one big bridge. One big bridge. We went over this bridge earlier today. Obviously, that bridge has been there after this one was built. Um, I'm not sure when that one was exactly built, but when we were here the last time, and I was really upset, we did a spirit box session right here in front of the Silver Bridge, where it had collapsed. And well, 
it didn't collapse here, it collapsed over the water, obviously. But yeah, I was really upset that we didn't have that footage. Should we do another spare yeah, box? Yeah, because I remember um, what made it so interesting was we were asking like, you know, how many people were, were killed here? And it actually said 46. It did. And that's oh, wow. what, and that's why we were like, whoa. Yeah, it was an awesome spirit box session. So we're going to probably try to do that again. So let's get a little bit closer. Oh, you know what I remember from when we were here last time? We were sitting in the car right here. Right. And I remember there were like, there was this door right here. We watched it open and close and there was nobody in there. Oh, Do you yeah, remember? And you got that, that on camera too. Man. And that's gone. So yeah, I lost like two or three clips, but you know what? I didn't lose it in vain because I learned something. You always learn from your mistakes. Something that I used to do, I used to have a bad habit of it, is when my SD cards would get full for videos, I would go ahead, I would put them on my laptop, put them on the hard drive, and then I would move on and film some more videos because I'm constantly filming and filling up these SD cards. That's what I did. We were on a trip and I, I thought it was it was awesome. It was fine. I got my footage from West Virginia, from Point Pleasant, and I put it onto my my hard drive on my computer. Well, when I went to go edit that video, I looked and I was missing like four important clips, very important clips. One of them being here on the Silver Bridge and doing that spirit box session. And then the other one being when we went to that, that park area, that footage was gone. But this is the thing, I learned from that and now I keep all of my footage and I just bought more SD cards. And until the videos are edited and mastered and put up on YouTube or online, I do not delete my SD card footage. So yeah. Word to the wise for Thank those you, who- Thank you Mothman and Point Pleasant <laughs> for teaching me that lesson. But hey, we're back. And I mean, you probably just taught some other people some stuff, so. Hey, don't yeah. delete your SD card footage and I guess don't record over your SD card footage until it is all the way up online. What is this? So I think last time this is where we did the spirit box at. Was right here. right here on top oh, of this. Oh, it was. And then. Yeah, look. It actually has an um, image. Yeah, a mural. So that's what the silver bridge looked like. That was like the entrance. If you were, you know, if you were going. If this was to once, Ohio. yeah, once still a road. Silver Bridge Collapse and Creation of National Bridge Inspection Standards. It was a 39-year-old bridge, and it collapsed. Yeah, I guess they never did inspections until the following years when it became a standard. Oh, to check the structural Yeah, that's when it became, like, mandatory. To prevent future tragedies. Those 46 individuals that lost their lives here, there was probably some people that their lives changed forever after that because, you know, they were hurt. Oh, look at the kitty cat. So cute. Hi. Did somebody leave you in there? Oh, he's so cute. He just wants to come out and play. I think somebody's, oh yeah, there's a hotel here. Maybe they didn't allow cats. Be safe from the Mothman though. So when Tiffany and I were in front of the Silver Bridge, didn't realize that there's people that live right next door to it. So we wanted to be respectful and just kindly walk away. We were filming a little bit. We were about to do like a spirit box session, but didn't want to be all loud. But anyways, we are in search of the Mothman. That is what we're doing tonight. This video will carry on into the next day. We want to see Point Pleasant during the day. We have really never explored during the day and gone into some of these shops. So it should be fun. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. This is an awesome video. If you're not subscribed to my channel too, make sure to turn on post notifications and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on this awesome content that we bring you. Dude, I am so tired, but we need to try to find the Mothman. What if we end up finding the Mothman? Then I'm gonna be scared him? because I'm gonna be wondering what he's bringing. They call him the angel of death. I don't want to find him. You're not really supposed to find him. He finds you. Well, I don't want him to find me. You didn't think that far ahead, did you? I'll fight him off for you. How about that? What does that have to do with anything? Supposedly he comes during or before a tragic event happens. That's just a, it's a theory. A that's, theory? that's a theory. But I don't want to find out about that theory. <laughs> like what if the theories are correct? Yeah. So we're about a half a mile away from McClintic wildlife refuge now there's also some talks of the explosives that they used to house in these bunkers leaving some like toxic waste and they say that that toxic waste 
infected some animals, and that's how the Mothman became. I just saw something glowing in red. I did too. It feels like a biker. It's red. Do you see it? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I keep thinking that it's a car or something. Nope, there's that car that we've seen parked. What is that? Look, I see something red up there. What the f See, this is that road. Look, 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 look. Well, look camera. straight ahead. There's two red eyes. You don't see it? Yeah. All right, I think I'm just tripping. I think that's like the top of a building or something from far away. Well, what was that? What is that bleaking right there? Where'd it go? Okay. Well, I just passed that turn. Yeah, there. I think it's a bike or something. There's something blinking right over there. Okay, so we ended up on a dirt road now. Those red lights that we were seeing disappeared. I'm pretty sure it was like a reflector. Maybe it was a bicycle or something. There's no internet signal out here. You know the last time we were here, you rolled down my window. Cause you were scared. She was really scared. This is a really creepy area. So where we're at right now is where the very first sighting of the Mothman took place. I believe, I've heard this story too. The people, the, the very first people that witnessed the Mothman, they thought that they were going crazy and they went out a second time to this area and witnessed him again a second time. So I'm not sure the accuracy on on that. I know that they did report this to the police and there was even some talks of them being interviewed separately. And each of them had the exact same story. In other words, they there, there was no way for them to, to make this story up. They all had the same exact story. Where are we at now? Oh no, there's three ways to go. You know that um, car that we seen parked? If they were walking around here? If they know like a shortcut. If maybe that's like a shortcut to get to the area. To the bunkers? Yeah. Oh, I see some lights on over there. Maybe there's somebody down there. What? There is a car coming behind us. Is there really? Legit, there's a car coming behind us. Pull off to the side. Do you really want me to? What if it's like somebody that wants to kill us? Uh, we'll kill him back. Oh, they turned off. Look at them. I don't know. Just had this car like following us and then it it turned off into like the woods or something. Dude, it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like, and this is like- Yeah, there's nobody the out here. of nowhere. When we came out here the first time, it was like seven or eight o'clock at night and there was several cars parked on this street and people with flashlights are just, kind of exploring the area but I mean as you can see there is there's nobody out here but it doesn't surprise me that there probably was a car back there or maybe it's the mothman and his eye color changed <laughs> there's definitely coyotes out here too yeah when we were out here last time we kept hearing them howling remember yeah why don't you just park right here Let's turn the car off. You know what the Mothman sounds like? You say? Sounds like a like a record player playing really fast, or like a mouse, like a mouse squeak or something. heard like you know these ginormous wings if, if there's a creature with 15 foot wingspan you're gonna hear oh there was a story that i heard where the mothman actually chased a car and he wasn't even flying he was running like he could supposedly he could run really 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 fast what and you got me sitting here with my car off with the windows open You want to walk around the woods a little bit? Why don't you drive up a little bit now? What do you see? Okay, I 
just assigned to the, the wildlife area. Look, there's another road up ahead over there. There's a light. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, there are people over there. They're like hiding a body. I don't know. What? Oh, now they're moving. Are those the people that were following us earlier? That was weird. Well, then they turned off. They're like turning around. Alright, that was weird. Where'd they go? Wait. They just disappeared. They are legit gone. Wow. I've been some places where there's like phantom cars. One was in, I believe it was called Proctor Valley Road in San Diego, California. And I went there with my friend James. Oh, dude. Oh, why did you just turn the lights out? What the hell is going on? It's the second time. All right, man, I'm not feeling this this time around. That is not a cop. And that's not somebody, that's somebody looking for trouble. Yeah, I do. Dude, they just flashed their lights. I just seen them flash their lights. Not sure if that's what we just witnessed, but these lights came on and it was like, it's like there was like something guarding that area. Like it didn't want us there and it happened twice. They come up behind us, not real close. I mean, they just almost want, it's like they want us to know that they're there. And then once they made their presence known, they disappear and they vanish. Weird. Like it's one o'clock in the morning. Where are they going? Yeah. It's very late at night. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get some rest and come back out here in the morning. And we're going to show you the Mothman Museum open and not close. And maybe even get one of those famous Mothman pizzas or a Mothman coffee. What do you say? Definitely get a coffee. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're not into the next day yet. We're just checking into our Hampty right now. Originally, I paid for an Airbnb for tonight in Ohio, but it was a one hour drive and we wanted to spend a little bit more time here in Point Pleasant, but we are on the Ohio side. Now, what I found very strange is the Airbnb that we were supposed to spend the night in tonight, and I'm gonna show that on the screen here, was 314 john street now when we checked in here at the hampton inn is this point pleasant ohio because there is a point pleasant ohio no this is um it's the ohio that's literally on the other side of the bridge. yeah we could like throw a rock and it would like hit west virginia from where we're at in ohio so we get here and she gives us our room number and it's 314. room 314. now to make matters even more strange, 314 happens to be your birthday. My birthday. I'm a pie baby. The street that we were gonna stay on is John Street. Okay, okay, we're getting out, we're getting out. I think we broke the elevator. Anyways, I don't know if 314 meant something tonight. It's definitely strange. What a coincidence. We're gonna get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, fam, so I barely slept. I think Tiffany slept a little bit more than I did. I was so tired, I went to sleep in the same clothes, minus my sweater, and it was so cold in there. We're here getting some breakfast at the famous Mothman Pizza, well, also known as Village Pizza in Point Pleasant. We ordered the famous Mothman Pizza. Comes equipped with pepperonis, mushrooms, bright red cherries. What is it? Tomato, cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. It has the eyes, so hopefully it's good. So this is Village Pizza. We were gonna get a Mothman burrito, <laughs> but I asked Tiffany what she wanted to eat, and and I said, yeah, she said pizza. I said your choice. Yeah, but then you said you already know my choice. And then you no, said, I said, don't ask me. Okay, well, that's the same thing. I started laughing. I was like, don't ask me because this well, when I said, eat when I said pizza, <laughs> when I said pizza, you didn't even argue with me. You're just, all right, let's go. Because my favorite food is pizza. That's everybody's favorite food. Not everybody. I love all Italian food. I'm like extremely zoomed into your face right now. 
our Mothman pizza has arrived. Now, the waitress was so generous not to have it cut yet in case we wanted to video it and take some pictures of it. Ready to see the Mothman pizza? Here it is. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I'm probably not gonna eat the pepperonis, but I will definitely eat these mushrooms and the green peppers. This cheese bread was probably the best cheese bread I've ever had. You agree? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you the very first bite. Here you go. <laughs> so this area around the Mothman statue is very different during the day. Hey, is that the car that had the cat in it last night? I don't think that was the same one. I think that the one that we had last night was blue and it had, was parked in the handicap spot. And it didn't have a license plate. Shame on the That one's from Florida. Okay, and they don't have no cats. Because we know all about that in Florida. It gets hot. So, it seems this place kind of dies down at nighttime. Especially if it happens to be like 2 o'clock in the morning, like when we were here. But, as you can see, there's people taking pictures with the Mothman. Got a good bit of traffic here too. And the Mothman Museum is open. So we're gonna go inside, take a peek at it. You know the owners here love the Mothman and they, they probably hear a lot of different stories. So we may ask them. Oh, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh wow, it does go that far. Oh, that's the buggers. Oh, cool. We should try to find those. So there was a power plant, I guess, near those bunkers at one point. Oh, they, oh, okay, they demolished it. That's pretty cool. Look at a Mothman costume right there. If this is what the Mothman looks like, I am terrified. Yo, check this out. These are handwritten police reports of people witnessing what the heck are you? Well, anyways, this eyewitness, her name was Mary Mallet. And there is, I guess what's written on those papers is kind of hard to understand. I'm not the best when it comes to reading cursive. Okay. He's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's a costume. What the heck? Wait, there was really a man in black? I don't know, it's pretty Oh, see, look, there's a picture. Get out of here. Yeah, there were some real men in black, I guess, that showed up, and people say they were from the government. It was following the Mothman stories. And I heard they were pretty rude. Oh, yeah, they did make a movie. Mothman Prophecy. Swift Richard here. This is so cool. Now, they have a Mothman festival. This in September. We just missed it. Well, a couple months. I was not expecting this in here. Yeah. I was not expecting this. I wonder if people were seeing owls. Because that's like a... They say there's a lot of owls here. Because this, this does look like an owl. Yeah, like that looks like an owl. Look at that thing. Look, I should that go stand next to that. That does not look like an owl. It looks like a spider with wings. It's terrifying. Minus the look, eight legs. That's so cool. Look, there's a UFO behind it. Oh, was that the, the game ball? Oh, wow. The Mothman you see I guess. It's pretty cool. Oh, I said came by the room. That's pretty cool. And then so, just touched Richard Gear and never messing. Oh, wow. This touched Richard Gear? <laughs> okay, I didn't actually rub my head on it. Yeah, in case you didn't know, there was a movie filmed. I mean, it wasn't spot on with some things, like some things were off, but it it's pretty similar to the events. I think they filmed it for like you know the modern times so though like for the 90s and this took place in the 1960s all of this stuff yeah these oh wow these are all props yeah. from the movie oh look at this it says not to touch me i didn't touch it see this is the phones look there's the camera some people don't even know what this is yes kids take note 
that's those a are, Those are landline phones. This was the watch and the chapstick. Ooh. Whoa. And the coffee place. Okay, so these are other accounts of Mothman sightings. And this one was in Pittsburgh. That's pretty interesting. I did hear the ones about Chicago. But this is the silver bridge right here. It's like a little model that somebody made. There's a little homie. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is a connection. I can't remember. Did they show the silver bridge in the movie? Yeah, I think Deborah Messing was one of the car crash victims. I could be wrong because I don't remember it all the way. But okay, I want to. Movie. I want to rewatch it. I feel like they need to remake another movie and cool. have it exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Because in the movie they said that 36 people died. And in real life, it was 46 people that died. I wonder why they left 10 people out. I don't know. That's weird. And there's all kinds of newspaper clippings here from the disaster that happened. And like I was showing you, Ohio is just right over the bridge from West Virginia. Hey, nice beard, bro. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, though. I was reading this right here, and it's directly connected to that bridge incident. Well, I mean, somehow, some way. Uh, this is how it's connected, though. There was a hundred people that witnessed this creature between 1966, uh, November 1966, and November 1967. And, of course, the bridge collapsed in December of 1967 and then after that he was never seen again in this area and that's what it pretty much says right there so that's the connection between the Silver Bridge okay so I caught the end of this story right here and this woman was so frightened that she was calling upon a minister I mean that's how scared she was after witnessing what she had witnessed Get there. <laughs> That's for our son Boston. Some Mothman merch. There's all kinds of Mothman mania going on in here. I like this color. It is pretty cool. I mean, they got some buttons, keychains. I mean, anything Mothman you could think of. Some Mothman coffee? What? Ooh, some Mothman license plates. Mothman hot sauce? TNT? All right, so we're back at the McClintic Wildlife Refuge. Looks a lot different during the day. Still creepy. You see we parked way over there and there's really nobody here, surprisingly, during the day. I mean, there wasn't anybody here last night other than us and then we did see some headlights flash behind us and then the car disappeared, which was strange, but we're gonna try to find those TNT bunkers. Now, I'm unsure if that's what those kids in the 60s in the 1960s were looking for i mean maybe this was a popular hangout back in the day from walking on a paved road to a not so paved road adventure could you imagine walking down there in the middle of the night though no <laughs> just because i'm trying to figure out what kind of wildlife is living here even though it's cold outside right now we did still spray bug spray on us just because you don't know it could still be some ticks out here but as cold as it was last night i think it froze every bug well maybe not i don't know these bugs out here in west virginia are savage i mean yeah the bugs are so savage that even the moths turn into man-sized flying creatures with 15 foot wingspans not saying that the off spray is going to keep the moth man off <gasps> that was easy we just found the bunkers just like that. You know, last year we didn't even walk through here. No. No, didn't think that, but you wanna hear something crazy? You know the whole 314 thing that we had going on last night? Guess what time I went to bed? 314. I'm not even lying. Are you serious? That, it, I have a screenshot on my phone. I laid down and it was 314. I was like, God, are you trying to tell me I'm gonna die on my- Don't say that. I'm not gonna lie, did not expect to see this so close to the road. I mean, it's right there. I thought it was gonna be a lot further. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a hike for sure. 
I'm thinking there's more than one of these, though. But this is where they used to house their TNT for World War II. Or store. Yeah. Spider web. Whoa. What the heck? So, what's really funny is I'm thinking about it right now. Using one of those Aztec death whistles. Like I did in the body shoot at Waverly Hills. What? Oh my god. I thought there was something over there. What? It's got like a red eye. I think it's a voodoo doll. Why not? We're not taking that doll. I'll take her to the clown cottage. No. I don't know, this is a cool doll. What if something has been done with that doll? I don't care. I won't take I won't bring it home. How about that? I promise. It has to I won't be bring it home. What if we don't make it home because of this doll? What if something happens? What if somebody puts some X or something on the doll? We're she has a good point. Doll. I don't know. I think it's cool, though. But you don't know what's been done with that doll. Well, you want to do a spirit box and find out? What if this doll was meant to try to conjure up the Mothman again? So then leave it here so it can be conjured up here where it's... Where it's for... <gasps> this sounds like people in the woods. Where? Well, yeah. We just found another igloo. This one looks even more welcoming. This has a cross on the door. A cross on the door? If there's another dang doll in here, I swear to God, you got not taking anything. 
Oh, damn. Oh, this one's scary. Kind of smells. Oh, this one has a Mothman in it. No, it doesn't. I swear. Look at this. Oh my God, bro. That's so cool. Wow. Well, look, another Mothman behind you. If you're gonna come to Point Pleasant and visit this area. Run in the first one. Pretty creepy. Now, we were told that there's three of these, so maybe the third one is up ahead a little bit more. I wonder what was up with all the canned goods. There was a lot of canned goods in there. Canned goods? Yeah. Maybe they were offering up canned goods to the Mothman. Yeah. So we're not going to go take those, are we? What was that? I don't know. You know, now that I've been here during the day, and this is why I say, if you're thinking about visiting a place at nighttime, maybe go during the day first. That way you get comfortable with the layout, make sure it's safe. Safety is the number one thing. I have to say, I would probably, like, would you come here at nighttime after? The, my only concern with coming at night, it's not like the scare factor of like what is out here. It's the animals at night. Like coyotes? Yeah, that's what, because when we came last year, that's what we kept hearing howling, remember? Yeah, we did hear a lot of coyotes at nighttime. And I mean, this would have been almost impossible to find at nighttime. We probably would have walked right by it. It's like a swamp over there. If this was in Florida, there'd be like a thousand gators in there. This is the kind of water they love. Something really big just it ran in the water. It ran. Listen. You can hear. Oh. I don't know. It was a big bird. That was not a bird. It sounded like a giant like wasp. An iguana out here? <laughs> what if somebody brought their pet gator over here and then they're gonna pick it up in the winter time? Listen, look at it again. Alright, I'm tripping. I found igloo number three. This is it, and I think this one is flooded. Yeah, it's right by that swamp. Doesn't look like very many people going here. Hello. All right, some people have gone in there. I see graffiti. Hello. Anybody in there? Look at the size of that padlock right there. It's massive. Tiffany's online looking to see if there's yeah. any animals out here. I'm trying to see which. Animals. They say owls. Ain't no owl flopping through the water like that. I feel like that thing was just like. What are, what are these things? I don't know. Like it's like a huge concrete boulder over there. So I want to hear in the comments if you think the Mothman legend is true. For me, there's just way too many people that made reports, and I mean, why would they do that? Why would there be so many police reports? about the Mothman right up until a tragic event took place. I mean, even aside from that tragic event that took place, the other reports in other areas, and I need to investigate those a little bit more. Let me know here in the comments if you want us to make another video, perhaps at nighttime, because that's when most of the sightings take place, is at nighttime. I'm unsure if there's been any more sightings. According to, to locals, the sightings stopped in the 1960s, but there may be some other people out there. Maybe there's some other accounts. There was some in Chicago in 2017, and that was the last that were very similar to the Mothman sightings. Could the Mothman be the angel of death? I don't know. You let me know. I have no idea what kind of doll this is. Let me know here in the comments. I mean, it, to me, it may be a voodoo doll. I don't know. 
A what? An offering doll. An offering doll? Offer him again. You let me know here in the comments what I should do with this doll. Should I burn it? Should I bury it? Should I keep it at my clown cottage where I keep some other haunted objects and haunted clowns? Or in the future, should I bring it back to one of these igloos? Like right now? No. I mean, five I'm, minutes, I'm taking it. Future. This is coming to Florida with me. This is cool. Or maybe I'll give them to Jody. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. And Jody's <laughs> house. Even though we didn't come across the Mothman, I mean, hey, maybe we'll watch this video later on and, and see a Mothman or, or see some sort of really weird winged creature. Let me know here if you did see something rather strange and unexplainable, maybe something paranormal. It was still a lot of fun sharing some of the stories with you. And to me, that's just what they are because there's really no actual proof other than the stories. Back in the 1960s, I mean, people didn't have what we have today where you could just whip out your cell phone and right away start recording whatever it is that you saw. Until that day, I don't know what I believe. What do you believe? I mean, I believe that there was something because over 100 people aren't crazy. Yeah, and I do believe that. I mean, it could have been a paranormal experience. Could have been an alien. What if it was an alien? Yeah, well, in the Mothman Museum, they did say stuff about like UFOs and stuff like that too. But I think the coolest part was that the real men in black, like the real, they're, I didn't realize that those people were real. I didn't either. Maybe I should do a story on the men in black. Next thing you know, you're gonna have somebody at the door and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Before you leave though, give me a kiss. Peace.